court, we're going to be seeing uh, a change, in my opinion, for the worse in the coming days. But got we get a free Slurpee today, so oh, that should you. make things positive. You know, you, you got to look on the bright side. <laughs> There, Kelly, and I don't think anybody's going to be happy about the heat barreling towards Northern California. Your forecast for today, temperatures are climbing, so it's going to be toasty out there and it's going to be bright. We'll end up slightly above average for your Tuesday afternoon. We'll stay in a similar range, but might get a little hotter through Thursday. And then the dangerous heat really ramps up Friday into your upcoming weekend. Now a live look outside this morning. This is from the Highway 70 camera in the area around Gridley. You can see traffic rolling along smoothly. There's no travel impacts as far as the forecast is concerned this morning. And it's a nice start to the day. If you're trying to get that walk in, I would do so early on. Now moving forward, I already mentioned dangerous heat on the horizon in your forecast. Excessive heat watches already issued for the Valley, Foothills, Northern Sierra, a portion of the Southern Cascades and Northern Mountains. That starts at 11 a.m. Friday morning, lasting through 8 p.m. Monday. This is for temperatures in the Valley, potentially getting up into the 115 degree range through your upcoming weekend. So those afternoons are going to be brutal. You're going to want to plan for outdoor activities early on in the days this weekend. Right now we're in the 60s for the Valley, 69 degrees for Redding, 66 for Chico. Temperatures in the 60s in the foothills as well, and mostly 40s in our higher elevations, but a couple cities just holding on into those lower 50s. Modest wind out of the east early on today, but it's mostly south winds kicking in for your afternoon. Looks like we'll see gusts up to around 15 miles an hour, and it's going to be similar winds over the next couple of days. Lighter overnight into the mornings, and then up to around 15 miles an hour or so in the afternoons. That trend will repeat itself through the weekend forecast. Satellite and radar, clear conditions overhead right now. I'm tracking plenty of sunshine on tap for your Tuesday and moving forward, it's more of the same. The big impact on our region is gonna be this ridge of high pressure to our southeast, building back out to the west, driving the hotter temperatures, the dry conditions in the sunshine. So that's what you need to be prepared for. Checking in with your hyperlocal future cast for today, Sunshine at 8 a.m. You want the sunglasses? I don't think you need the extra layer this morning. It looks like you're going to be a happy camper if you just throw on the light layers early on today and just keep that throughout the afternoon. By noon, plenty of sunshine still. And then some thin clouds in our far northern zones late in the day. That's from that system that's keeping our high temperatures in check. Low pressure tracking into the Pacific Northwest, but most of us just seeing sunshine. Sunshine on the way for the start of your Wednesday. More on the same for the afternoon. And that trend continues really through this upcoming weekend with that ridge building west from our east. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, it's all sunshine on tap throughout northern California. We'll see a few clouds brushing through Monday into Tuesday of next week with a very modest dip in temperatures from the weekend and early next week. Temperatures today ending up mostly in the 90s for the northern mountains. We'll have 80s to low 90s in the Sierra and Southern Cascades. Foothill areas in the 80s to lower 90s as well. If you're in the valley, triple digit heat is projected for Redding and Anderson. Upper 90s for Red Bluff, Los Molinos and Corning. Mid to upper 90s in the mid valley with 97 degrees for Chico and Orville today. Your Storm Tracker 7 day forecast where your weekend's always in view. Mid to upper 90s for Chico through Thursday, then up to 106 degrees Friday, 110 degrees both days this weekend, and overnight lows, Kelly, only in the mid to upper 70s, down to 105 on Monday. Boy, it is just a hot stretch from Friday through early next week. Redding triple digit heat on the way. We'll be in the lower triple digits through Thursday, up to 110 though on Friday, 114 degrees both days this weekend, with lows in the mid to upper 70s, still up to around 107 degrees on Monday. This is a downright toasty extended forecast with dangerous heat on the horizon for that upcoming weekend.